ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my workshop. The winter scene in the 16 by 20 inch. Um, we begin with a big brush with a lot of white. We use a lot of white and we have uh, some colors in, in the brush. Orange and blue. And we stretch the white. We have the river. And we use a um, light blue. Just a little bit light blue. With a big brush. A two inch brush. We use a purple. That's a purple. Dark purple. Purple with the light blue. We blend together. And we have a lot of blue and purple. Well, the next color is paint gray. Well, now we blend the blue and purple with white all together, just with the tip of the brush, with a small movement. We don't put any pressure. And we use another brush with a paint gray or dark gray, just here. We have a dark gray. Just a little touch with the tip of the brush. We blend the colors together. It's the same work on the left. We use um, light blue and paint gray, dark gray. With a small motion, yes, we have a movement in the sky, a lot of movement. On a winter scene, yeah, and more, more light blue and dark gray, and here. On the, on the left, we have the water. We blend. Yes, we have a lot of movement. We blend, we work with the tip of the brush, and we have the river here. In the winter time, the water is very dark. That's the dark colors in the winter. In the night, We use a fan brush, a small fan brush. We use a white, and we have a, some, a little waterfall. A little splash, and a ripple. We have uh, some movement on the water. Just a little touch. Just uh, some ripple. And on top too, over there.
and the water fountain is very small. On top, ah, the ripple, <laughs> the waters, the movement is coming. We give this small waterfall. We have a lot of movement in the sky, and maybe we have a different movement here. We use a blue, a light blue with a purple. Light blue, purple, and pants gray. We stretch the colors, we be pale. The mountain is not too dark because it's too far. We have the reflection, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the reflection, yeah. We have the blue and white. We have the highlight on the mountain, come from the sky, yeah. With a fan brush again, we stretch the colors purple, blue, light blue, pants gray, and white. Yeah, we have a lot of movement over there. And we have the feel. We have the feel with white. A lot of snow in the field over there. <clears throat> That's a very cold time in the night around the river, in a waterfall, in a field. It's a long, long desert. And we have some trees over there, a little bush over there. It's very far. We use it just a corner of the brush. Just a little touch, and we dab it just a dab. Some trees is higher, just some trees. It's very far. Over there is very far away. And we have the same brush with the same colors, the light blue and the dark gray for the river. It comes from over there. Where the mountain? <coughs> Where the mountain here? Okay, over there, the water is cold, it's very dark. <coughs> the dark colors. And we use a fan brush again, and we have a couple of trees over there, and we have the shrub here in the foreground. We use a dark gray with the light blue, and some purple, and we dab first, and we stretch the colors. The gray, purple, and the light blue, three colors for the shrub. And we dab and we stretch for the long grasses. We have some ripple, we use the white. Some ripple here on the border.
over there is the same, but it's small because it's too far. The small grasses over there. And we use a spatula for the rock around the water. We use a spatula. Dark brown, just a little bit brown. <coughs> but we use a more gray. More gray for the rock. And we have the rock maybe with the tree here. We have a lot of detail on this landscape. A lot of rock, gray and blue, dark gray and light blue. And just here, we use a dark gray with a spatula for the trees. We have the rock and we have the grass. And we stretch with a spatula. One trees and one more tree is small. We have a two trees here. And we use the, the white. We use the white for the snow. We have a lot of snow here and here. A lot of snow in the grass around the snow on the shrub and a lot of snow on the trees. Yeah. A lot of snow on the rock. We stretch the white yeah, here. Yeah. And here, we have the colors on the snow. We have the reflection from the sky. Blue, gray, and purple. We use a spatula or we use a, the fan brush. Example, if I use just a fan brush, we have a more grass here. Of snow here. Maybe we do the background. The background, we have a blue, gray, and purple just for the background. It's better for the shadow when we want a shadow on the snow. We use the same brush here and we stretch. We stretch again and the grass is a shrub with a lot of snow because the wind, the snow is turned around the shrub and it's grip. And the whole, yeah. And we, we blend the white, but we don't cover the, the, the blue gray behind. We don't cover the blue gray, we keep the blue gray for the reflection. We have more movement here. We use a liner. 
So a liner with a dark brown and a dark gray. We stretch the blue gray. We stretch the blue. Sometimes we use the blue. But for now we have the gray and brown. Van Dyke brown. And a long branch. And we rotate a brush with a finger. And they grow up here. And the trees. It's the coal. The strong trees with the snow. <coughs> With the snow on the trunk and a lot of wind is turning around the trees. And we use a one inch brush with white. We be careful that we don't put a lot of pressure. We don't go over too much. Just a little touch. We have a little ice in the snow on trees. It's too cold if the snow stay on the on the trees. It's not a move. And with with the wind we have more ice. Yeah. Over there and here. We have a place for a lot of detail. Over there we have a fence. We use a dark blue and dark gray. The indigo blue is perfect. We have the gray in the blue. It's a pole. It's very far on the same here. In the same place just here is a closer, is a longer, is a bigger. Just with the tip of the brush, we use a gray, a dark gray. We use a lot of gray. That's an old fence. We have a little snow on the fence. Yeah. Now. Maybe we have a snow on the fence just here. The snow on the pot. And a snow bang here. We have a place for a little house. Maybe the Santa Claus house. Oh. Just here. And the roof. It's a brown, brown and gray. We mix the brown and gray with the trees, with white. We use a dark gray with the purple for the door and the window. Mm. 
dark brown, it's a Van Dyke brown with a purple on the wall. Just up and down with the liner. And we have a snow on the wall. A little snow on the wall. Yes, I love the purple. And dark gray for the window. And a lot of white for the snow on the roof. The snow on the roof. A lot of snow from the storm last night. And we rotated the brush with a finger. We deposit white around the house. Wow, it's a very far. Now, we use a dark gray, just a dark gray. We don't need the green. <clears throat> just a dark gray, and we rotate the brush with a finger. And for the pine trees and the Persian trees, around the house. We use a lot of gray with a liner. Maybe one more, right there. Wow. And we dab with, with the side of the brush. I don't use the tip of the brush for the branch. I use the side of the brush. We'll have a snow later. And we rotate the brush again. It's far away. A couple of trees. Yeah. That's good. It's a bushes over there and behind with a lot of ice on on the branch. With the old fence around the house. And the trees around the house and the fields is very long. Now, we use a fan brush. I dried the fan brush with a towel. We use a fan brush for the snow. We have some snow on the mountain. Not too much, just a little touch. I stretch the white here. And we follow, we follow the mountain. Just a little bit white. And white again. Just on top. Just on top. We don't use a lot of white. Yeah. And we use the fan brush again with the dark colors, dark brown, light blue, and dark gray. Where? Just here and here. And we stretch. I'll just shrub again. With a shadow. Just a little shadow. And we stretch. For the long grasses and the white. We use a more white. More white with a fan brush and we stretch. We have a shrub in the land. More snow here for more snow bank.
in the little grass too, a little shrub. Yeah. A lot of movement, a lot of detail. That's a rock just here around the water. And the pine trees and the snow on the trees over there. Just a corner, just a corner of the brush. And here. Yeah. We have a winter scene that's 16 by 20. I said, mm -hmm, the Santa Claus is coming soon. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. I wish you a beautiful week. Bye.